Hi guys, uh, this is uh, Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland uh, and this short video, another video in our series of videos dealing with uh, I suppose hypothesis testing and more importantly confidence intervals uh, is a scenario or a question that's asking us to construct what's known as a confidence interval for a single population proportion Okay, uh, so maybe I'll just write that down we actually have a particular formula that allows us to construct that confidence interval looks quite complicated looking uh, but let's, let's maybe maybe what we'll do is I'll just write down the name of this particular question so it's a confidence interval a confidence interval interval for a single a single population population proportion okay so what we have is we have a particular scenario here okay and the scenario has got to do with construction workers okay uh, a recent survey of 600 construction workers showed that 420 420 of the 600 workers had received some form of minor injury at work over the past year and we're being asked to construct a 95 percent confidence interval for the proportion of all construction workers who received minor injuries over the past year in other words, based off the sample information, okay, 600 workers, 420 of them have injuries. So we have a proportion here. We know that 420 of the 600 workers received an injury over the past year. And that's our sample information. But based off that particular sample information, can we construct an interval, okay, an interval, this is what the interval is going to look like, an interval for the true population proportion. The information being provided is information with respect to how many of of 600 workers in this case 420 had a particular injury and we're interested in bounding below the true population proportion the true population proportion being pi okay this represents in the true population that these 600 workers have been randomly selected for uh, can we figure out can we figure out a lower bound and can we figure out an upper bound such that we're 95% confident that the true population proportion will be bigger than this particular lower bound and also will be less than this particular upper bound. And this is the formula that we actually use uh, for constructing a confidence interval for a single population proportion. Now to figure out to figure out this particular formula, to actually calculate this particular interval, okay, what we need is we need one, we need the proportion of the sample that have the condition, that's P. We need n, the sample size, and we also need the appropriate z, z statistic or z score that goes along with a 95% confidence interval. So actually there's three pieces of information that's required. So the information required, the information required is we need p, okay, that's the, the proportion, the proportion of the sample, the proportion of the sample, of the sample, okay that exhibit or have the condition have the condition okay in this case here a uh, p is going to be equal to uh, i suppose it's the sample size okay so it's the sample size let's just say sample size here which is which is n okay uh, uh, and it is so it's 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 some amount relative to sample size and it's the number that have the condition so it's the number of people that have the condition the number of successes let's say that have the particular condition out of the total out of the total total sample size in our case here we have 420 workers out of 600 have the condition so this is this is the sample proportion that's been provided so we have p p is straightforward enough here it's a sample proportion uh, n is simply the sample size which we know is 600 okay uh, and then what we have to figure out is we have to figure out the appropriate z so we have to figure out the appropriate the appropriate the appropriate z score okay uh, for a 95 percent for a 95 percent confidence confidence interval so for a 95 percent confidence interval okay so we actually nearly have everything to construct this particular interval okay pi actually is the true is the true population proportion so pi is the true population population proportion now typically in exams these particular formulas are given to us okay but the key thing to know here is that we're given a single sample it's a proportion that's been provided we're being asked to construct a 95 percent confidence interval and as such the appropriate formula to use or uh, let's say equation to use is this particular is this particular one here okay so actually at this particular stage what we know is this is that the true population proportion pi 
okay, is bounded below by P. Now P is 420, it was 420 people with the injury, so 420 people with the particular condition, relative to 600 people. So that as a proportion is, well, as a proportion it's 420 over 600, and as a decimal, when we divide 420 by 600, what we end up with is, we end up with 0 0.7, okay? So the actual sample proportion is 0 0.7. So what we know is that the true population proportion pi is going to be bounded below by p which is 0 0.7 so it's going to be bound, bounded below by 0 0.7 minus some z score okay some z score times the square root the square root of p which is 0 0.7 okay times 1 minus 0 0.7 and that's all relative to the sample size, the sample size being n, in this case, is 600. So we know that the true population proportion is bounded below by this particular value. And it's also bounded above by 0 0.7 plus some z-score times the square root, times the square root of p, which is 0 0.7 times 1 minus 0 0.7 all relative to the sample size, which is 600, okay? So here's our true population proportion, and this is our confidence interval. Now the confidence intervals, lower bounds and upper bounds change depending on the z-score, the z-score that comes along with the 95% interval, or the z-score that would come along with the 90% or the 98%.